from another video joining me for the first time hello it's fakers week and i have another popular toy that has a faker <laughs> designed of it you will see if you know the brand it is enchantables these are fakers and they are done um any fake product i try to show i don't show i see so many videos where someone says oh it's a copy off or uh, it looks like it's made to look like I only go for products that are done exceptionally in their packaging to deceive or the doll is basically a direct copy of this one has both which is fantastic and if you have someone in the family who is not clued up on a sweetheart's you know your little ones loves and they think Enchantables, this must be it. Oh, I'm getting a bargain at five dollars. You're not. So first off, what I want to bring up is I have got the bunny here who is the official Enchantables product. So let's open up the official product and have a look at her first. So you'll see that the packaging is done mostly in clear plastic with little ears at the top. It then has the doll and each of these enchantable dolls has a smaller pet. Excuse my fingernails, my kids painted them today. Going down to a pink top and then a skirt with apples over it. And then the only artwork is of the specific doll on the side with the Enchantable logo. There is no other dolls that are showing on the front. Spin around to the back. And then again on the back, it has the Enchantables logo. It has a little write-up of the dolls and who they are, etc. And then the only Enchantable showing is again, the specific doll that you are purchasing. And then it has a little bit of a write-up of who she is. And isn't this artwork adorable? <laughs> now something I'm always going to point out on this and it's become a recurring theme in these fake products. If you get anything that someone claims is something but it does not have the company on it, most likely it's a faker. <laughs> it is a faker. Let's open her up. She is as easy as that. You just pull out the box and pop her out. And there's one little twizzle at the back there. I'm not sure if that's to actually hold her in or if that's just for her hair. It looks like we have to take the bunny out first. Boop. Oh, it's, it's not even held in. So it's simple and easy. So this little bunny's name is Twist. Oh, let me get Twist in the middle there. Okay. Oh, Brie and Twist are always up to their ears in a fun creative project. So these are these are artsy ones and if you're a subscriber of mine you know I have a thing for bunnies. I absolutely adore rabbits. <laughs> so these little ones they have a peg at the back so their dolls can hold them and this is a pink bunny it's so adorable love me love me. <laughs> so Next is the doll. I think that twizzles around her. It's as easy as that. So there is nothing too harsh holding them in. And let's have a look at Brie. So first off, these things give me, as they are a Mattel product, um, smaller Monster High, smaller Ever After High. Um, I think in Ever After they actually brought out a rabbit pixie. I have her in a box somewhere in storage. You've seen on Instagram, I have a lot of toys in storage. <laughs> So I do have a lot of toys. She has these gorgeous little bunny ears which are attached to her skull up here. She has a pink fringe and then this little bunny face. She's so cute with blue eyes. I love her pink hair. Her, there's no product in her hair whatsoever it feels like. It's based no hairspray whatsoever. It's very free flowy. Lovely for a child. I think these do um, these dolls are actually marketed to the younger children rather than the say the tween to teenage um, Monster High collector Going down to she does her articulation is basic head shoulder and hip Her arms are animated. So one is at her side in a bend. This one is down and around. I'm a thinking so that she can hold the bunny quite nicely. 
the she has a painted on top not a fan of painted on tops but it does not take away from her loveliness she has this little fluffy vest on oh no it's not a vest it's like a shawl over her shoulders with just a tie going around oh my goodness I just noticed she has a plastic tail she's so cute <laughs> then we have um very much in Shopkin style we have a elastic held up by elastic skirt this one has little apples and pineapples and kiwi fruit and watermelon on all sorts of fruit on it and you can remove the skirt it does have an shallow afterwards which well shallow indent kind of thing that holds it up down to her legs and then she has shoes which are removable she has tiny tiny feet <laughs> and i love feet that have the five individual show toes showing rather than that so you can see she is a small very basic but very very cute doll and, and of course they are enchantables and come with their forest friends like so first try not <laughs> but i got it in there so they can hold their friends so this is brie and twist and you will notice there is a brie behind us who is a faker let's bring her up okay so here is the faker brie it is first thing to note is it's an, an incorrect shape box much taller because the doll has been taller i've spoken about how they take copies of popular toys and then they enlarge them i imagine it's to evade some sort of copyright even though it is pretty much copying the doll or it is a easier way for them to produce a copy of the toy and the shape of the box is incorrect so you'll see that this one has the ears the official one this is just a rectangular box and then on the enchantables they have artwork on the front specific to that type of doll and here is just a copy paste of a whole lot of stuff i imagine to save money because there were different types of these fakers um to save money they just copy and pasted a bunch of them on there and then they could just shove whatever doll into the box it didn't really matter looking at the font work the font is the same but the coloring is different you'll see here it is a light green to dark green gradient here it is just a green with white sparkle on it Caring is our everything is pun printed underneath under the official product it prints the name of the doll and the the pet going on to the side okay we have a very cute deer down there um who may be the deer from the big set that i have in the background there ah, can i see on the side it may be sprint actually it does look a lot like sprint so i'm thinking that that's just been copied from the big box <laughs> so here we have enchantables carrying us out everything okay so on this one if we have a look here it says brie and twist are always up to their ears on a fun creative project on the fakers it says oh my goodness hang on one second it says brie is the craftiest of all the enchantables not in the devious or sly sense of the word but in the diy sense she always seems to be up to her ears in some project that threatens to consume her every waking moment so that's interesting that it's it's the same theme but it's different so it's almost like they've copy and pasted that from a website maybe maybe that's what it says on their website for enchantables but it's not actually what is printed on the back of this box and then again they've copied and pasted the same thing a whole bunch of enchantables as opposed to the singular product all stolen artwork all stolen font made to deceive and this is something that i'm really trying to hammer into people because i have had heard some horror stories now especially on the daddies i don't know why it's the daddies who buy these things from the variety stores the asian variety stores and then bring them home and find out they're not the official thing you know 
no major toy company it's always something like it has a copyright thing and then please recycle and made in china nothing else to say which factory which maker etc big tail sign same on here prints it a third time and uses the enchantables typeface so going on cost this was five dollars new zealand to get an enchantable especially when you there are 25 percent off sales and toys here you can pick the enchantables up for about the ten dollar range which actually makes this kind of a real ripoff i'd rather pay the extra five bucks and get the official product let's get into it and have a look so unlike the other one which i can just rip apart this, we have to actually slide this out of the box unlike the head fake hair adorables doll which i um reviewed the other day which had a really nice gloss to it was not crappy cardboard excuse the word but crappy cardboard this is back in the very flimsy cheap cardboard very easy to get out uh she got twisty ties yes they have twisty ties on the back so we've got one metal tie and one orange tie and we have a doll and a hairbrush where is her pet the whole point of the pets is to, you know, the, these ones is they have an animal friend. So Twist is missing. Twist is missing. And Lord knows for some reason they've stuck a picture of Sprint in here. Completely wrong animal for this doll, but <laughs> we have a picture of Sprint. <laughs> this one. Obviously it was not in the budget to make the pet. So the first thing we'll look at is the one accessory it does come with, which is actually kind of cute. I've got to say it's actually kind of cute. It is a see-through pink brush. It has little butterflies and, and things all over it. It looks like flowers and butterflies. It's actually really, really cute, and it's quite a solid brush. So this is actually kind of nice. I actually quite like this brush, so that's, that's quite cute. Okay, the first notable difference is the size, and as I said before, you'll find this a lot. They take a mold of an official product and then they enlarge it. I don't know why this is, it's the same with the Littlest Pet Shop um, big copies, it's the shame with the Hair Dorables, um face copies. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but she is a very big Hair Dorables doll. Maybe she is Brie when she's growing up a bit. You know what? I just had a fabulous idea. Because they're only $5, right? If you are looking, I know so many of you do little stories. You kids, I've, I will watch your stories. I don't always comment on them, but I watch them. This is almost like an Enchantables mum. Me! <laughs> this is actually really, really good for, um, for your role plays. Getting back into comparing the dolls though. The face painting is okay. Uh, they've used the same colours and that she has white ears. They've even got the tufts on the ears as it is a mould copy. They've used very similar hair, um, though she is lacking the fringe. The makeup's similar as well with the, yep, with the painting above. Um, she is missing her white around her nostril area here and just under her eyebrow but the painting itself is actually very very good and the copying of the painting is actually very very good so it's no problem it's not one of these fake copies that looks like honestly someone just had a fight with an airbrush <laughs> we've seen those ones before coming down to the outfit we have an attempt to make the little fur shawl that um, Brie is wearing on this faker so they've got that but then we go down instead of having a painted on bodice they've just made her a dress so this dress is removable with velcro at the back and uh i don't know about the bottom i don't know what happened to the bottom or the choice in materials we have a blue top with reds and greens on with this really out there orange yellow blue kind of flowery skirt it doesn't match it doesn't match I like the top part 
I actually kind of like the top part. I'm not sure of the skirt thing and I don't know why they attached this fluff to the bottom. They could have actually saved themselves some money and just chopped it off like this one was. <laughs> then we go down. Um, Brie has flat sneakers. The big doll has high heels which are removable. The plastic itself is not bad. It's actually bendable but it's that oh my goodness what is that doll that has this sort of plastic um oh it'll come to me but it's not breakable so it is bendable plastic but it is not breakable plastic if that makes sense that is just the sort it is so it's not flimsy she has basic articulation uh, just like the original doll but all in all it's actually a really nice copy it is a copy it is not as well made as the original as they are not well they you know they never are <laughs> they never are but I I think she is fantastic for role play if your daughter loves enchantables if you love enchantables because I see quite a few d adults who do their role plays with their dollies too this is a really nice mummy figurine let's look into the next one Alright, on to the second faker doll. You can see again, I bought them at the same place, so she's $5. Wrong box, but one thing I noted as I picked her up, Brie is the craftiest. So they have, <laughs> we lucked out, I guess, picking Brie as the example. So I'm assuming on all their copy dolls, there were different types there. Um, these are the two I grabbed. Brie must be printed on every single one of them there this, this all these little enchantables these faker enchantables are going to have an identity crisis they're all going to be going around calling each other brie and trying to outcraft each other <laughs> so we've got another brie box again the box is exactly the same it has all the enchantables um stolen artwork printed on the on the back um stolen font let's open her up Once again, I'm just going to note that she is, I'm sure this is Felicity Fox. I'm not 100% certain. I'm sorry, I don't have Felicity here. I have Felicity the doll. I just don't have her here as I just brought Brie down to open for an example. It's meant to come with a fox and I'm pretty sure this is Sprint the deer who comes with the lodge, <laughs> the house. <laughs> so... They're all having the same name and they're all unfortunately dreaming of Sprint. Sprint must be very, very popular. Wow, actually I like her better than Bree. She is actually really pretty doll. Now something I didn't take note of on Bree is the hair situation. Oh yeah, like a many, many, many fakers. Their hair is rooted only around in a circle. Let me get this in focus first. So only around the main part of the head doll and possibly down the middle if they're having a part such as her. So the good thing that they have done is on these dolls, they've attempted to pull the hair to make it look like it's full. So when you're looking like this, it actually looks like a really nice set of hair. She has her little flower in her head here and Felicity does have... Um, excuse me if I'm saying the wrong name, Felicity. I hope I'm saying the right name. Felicity does have like this foxy face mask. The painting, once more, is fantastic. I'm imagining this is going to be the same as the other one where it's almost like a mother doll. Going down to this dress, which is much better than this pile of junk just sewn together. This actually semi-matches. So we have a orange dress with a peach part down the middle here and then an orange skirt with little butterflies all over it. The hands themselves, they've got little fingernails imprinted into them. Again, it's that bendy plastic but it is solid so it is not breakable easily and it is not that horrid, horrid fake plastic where you touch them and it pretty much disintegrates in your fingers and you can go inwards. The, he the head is the same. The head is really solid. That's actually a lot of pressure. I'm putting on that and it's barely moving. I'm actually really impressed. 
The doll bodies themselves, look, look at the skinny legs. Oh my God, eat a hamburger girl. But, um, <laughs> oh, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. They're enchantables. They probably don't eat meat. Um, <laughs> eat some carrots. Eat a lot of carrots. You know, have a carrot cake. And then we go down and we have these high heels. Again, putting it next to little Brie. Uh, Brie? Uh, these are fantastic adult dolls. So, as a copy, I am actually going to give these 7 out of 10 as fakers, which is very, very high for me. Um, these are actually very attractive on dolls on their own, but if they were just dolls on their own, I'd probably give them, eh, I don't know, 5 out of 10. But the fact that they can be used in a child's role play as a mother, and they are well painted, they are actually very good plastic, I'm actually giving these a 7 out of 10. I think for $5 they're fantastic, but more so than that, they're a great custom doll for the head, for practice. If you want to get into customizing, don't go customizing dolls just immediately thinking you're fantastic because it never ends up that way. You need something to practice on. These are, if you want to make a... These are so small, these are going to be very hard to custom on. Trust me, it's not as easy as it looks. With a larger head, especially for children, it's a great way to learn. These are fantastic for role play. Um, I think I've already said that. And last of all, if you have a child who is a little destructive and you don't want to spend the $12 to $10 to get them the official product just yet, spend $5. They can take these to kindy. They can take them to the playground. You don't care if they get lost. They can scribble over them. They can munch them. They can chew them. They can do whatever ever on earth they want to them and you're not going to feel so bad if an official product gets munched please don't munch me <laughs> all right so where did i find these i found these at the local asian variety shop i'm really impressed with these fakers they're naughty very very naughty but i'm very impressed with them and it's not too often that i'm impressed with fake products gee mum what should they do if they like this video Leave a thumbs up, darlings, and don't forget to subscribe. We love to open toys here. And we love to share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Don't forget about me. Bye-bye.